But before we get into that, let's take a moment to talk about the Support Act. George Clinton and Parliament Funkadelic Absolute legends who, after starting their set in front of a largely empty arena, finishes with a filled and crowd eating from the palm of their hands. Who wants to funk? We want to funk. Whatever you do, don't miss the support on this tour, folks. Now, to the main event, the Red Hot Chili Peppers' first show in Brisbane since 2007, Aussie Born Flea, Bass, Chad Smith Drums, and relative newcomer Josh Klinghoffer, filling the sizable shoes of John Frusciate on guitar, are first on stage for an introductory jam. Enter Anthony Kiedis bounding to the mic for Around the World with an energy that lasts a full 100 or so minutes. Lee is just as animated as he's ever been, his mastery of the bass in no way overshadowed by his hyperactive stage presence. Watching him slap that bass like nobody's business, it's no surprise Rolling Stone named him the second best rock and roll bass guitarist of all time. A case could easily be made for the top spot. Frontman Anthony Kiedis. Credit. Justin Mikitas, Lee and Smith are all pushing 60 in a way that would have most 30-year-olds pining for a nap. From the Frenetic Stooges cover I Wanna Be Your Dog to By The Way, the Chili Peppers raise the bar for power funk rock. Perhaps all this energy can be put down to the band's disavowal of the sex, drugs and rock and roll lifestyle of their youth, or at least the second one, Lee hints to his. Much after the obligatory Brisbane comment about Our River, a fake beach and his post-gig party, plans, we'll be getting on the chamomile tea and watching the final episode of True Detective, he says. Throw in slower tempo offerings such as Flea's P and the ever popular Californication, and you have an eclectic gig that would leave few disappointed. Klinghoffer's encore rendition of Elvis Costello's Watching the Detectives, with a slight play on the lyrics, Watching True Detective, makes me think that, perhaps, Flea wasn't joking. For a band that's lasted 36 years and 11 albums, there are always going to be some disappointing omissions. But it says a lot about a band when songs such as Under the Bridge, Breaking the Girl and Suck My Kiss can be left off the set list without having people go home incredulous. How could they, when they've just seen George Clinton and the Red Hot Chili Peppers perform Give It Away? That's the sort of memory that lasts a lifetime. Remaining Red Hot Chili Peppers Australian Dates Tuesday, February 26, Brisbane Entertainment Centre Thursday, February 28, Rod Laver Arena, Melbourne Saturday, March 2, A Day on the Green, Mount Dune Estate, Geelong Sunday, March 3, Super Loop Adelaide 500 After Race Cancer Tuesday, March 5, HBF Park, Perth.